I'm on sabbatical in my hometown of Sydney, Australia, which you can see over my shoulder at this uh, studio come poolside patio at Casa Patterson in Sydney. And you know, it's the scorching eve of the Yuletide season here in Sydney. I've just got this suit on for the benefit of the BBC and squeamish viewers. Uh, if your cameras can home in a bit there, and we're talking, by the way, on satellite, ladies and gentlemen, if your satellite camera... The cameras can hang in through the window out there at a typical Sydney Harbour scene. If you've got your telescopic lenses, you'll see that the good people of Sydney are at the moment thronging the beaches and plunging into the surf of Sydney Harbour. All strikes have their good side and at the moment uh, the Sydney folk are swimming around availing themselves of the current nationwide shark stoppage. Of course, these fish are picketing the beaches, but it's all in the spirit of fun as befits an Australian bloody Christmas. <laughs> now, I'm not here just to rattle on to you good people. I'm here for a purpose, uh, but I'm not going to be here when our very good friend Mike... How are you, Mike? Our very good friend Mike uh, Parkinson wings his way over to Australia because that's part of a big Australian and British cultural exchange. We're being swapped. Um, <laughs> Mike, you're coming here. Good boy. I'm going over there. Like, monkeys will, must I? They tell me too, Mike, eh? <laughs> now, we've got it all teed up for you here, sonny. You'll step off the plane, and there'll be old little Jeff Boycott will be there with a big bunch of roses waiting for you and a delegated with emus, too. Thanking you for your services to the Australian marsupial. Uh, however, I've got everything sorted out, I assume, by the way, Mike. I can't talk too intimately because we are you know, on the satellite, but I assume your delightful lady wife won't be making this trip with you. <laughs> so I've teed up, you know, a little bit out here for you on this journey. I'm not going to say any more, except let's call it Operation Golden Donut, shall we? <laughs> I know when you've been running around down under for a while, the first thing you're going to want to do when you start feeling a bit restless is to do a bit of fact-finding down under on the entertainment front. Uh, you can stay, of course, at Casa Patterson. Uh, but uh, I've worded up some of the Qantas, uh, the Qantas hosties. I've had a word with them. And the uh, air hostesses, of course, have read their Emmanuel Manuel. And uh, you can be pretty sure, uh, Mike, that they'll find a little bit of room in their luggage racks for your hand baggage. No worries, son. <laughs> So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, oh, by the way, I think the girls are going to go for you in Australia in a big way, Mike. Uh, my wife says your mouth's a bit small, but I think, uh, well, that's neither here nor there. You know, it's a touch of the James Galways about the lips, isn't it? Probably going down to the old flute from time to time, no doubt. <laughs> but there's an old Aboriginal saying, <laughs> small of mouth, big of didgeridoo. Good luck to you, Mike. Very good luck. This is Celeste Patterson of Sydney, Australia, handing you back by the satellite to Michael Parkinson at the BBC. Oh, dear. I don't believe it.